President Trump on Sunday appeared to suggest additional women who accused Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct were lying after one woman admitted she fabricated a claim against the judge. A woman who accused then Judge Kavanaugh of horrible, horrible crimes admitted that actually she never met Judge Kavanaugh or Brett Kavanaugh or Kavanaugh, period. Never met him, never saw him, and the act never happened, and it was a lie, Trump told supporters during a campaign rally in Georgia. The crowd burst into chants of lock her up as Trump stepped away from the podium and clapped. Though the president did not name the woman he was referring to, he appeared to be alluding to Judy Monroe Leighton. Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley, or Iowa, said in a letter Friday to the FBI and Department of Justice that Monroe Leighton admitted to the committee on November. One that she previously lied about an allegation that Kavanaugh and a friend raped her in the backseat of a car. Investigators began looking into Monroe Leighton's allegations at the beginning of October after she sent an email to the committee claiming she was the woman who sent an anonymous letter to Sen. Kamala Harris, D. Califf. In late September alleging Kavanaugh raped her. Under questioning by committee investigators, Ms. Monroe Leighton admitted, contrary to her prior claims, that she had not been sexually assaulted by Judge Kavanaugh, Grassley wrote, asking for an investigation into her claims. On Sunday, Trump seized on the referral of Monroe Leighton's claim while conflating it with other claims that lawmakers have said were credible. I think this was number four, Trump said. And by the way, what about the other ones? How about the other ones, folks? Oh, you'll see others now. He blasted Democrats for their disrespectful treatment of Kavanaugh and urged his supporters to recall the bitter confirmation fight ahead of Election Day on Tuesday. He could have lost a judgeship on a story that was made up, he said. And the way the Democrats treated him and us, you've got to get to the polls on Tuesday and you've got to vote. Monroe Leighton was one of four women to make sexual misconduct allegations against Kavanaugh. Grassley also referred accuser Julie Swetnick and her attorney, Michael Avenatti, for investigation. No such referral has been made for Christine Blasey Ford or Deborah Ramirez. Ford testified before the Senate Judiciary Committee in September that Kavanaugh pinned her down and groped her during a party when the two were in high school. Ramirez alleged that Kavanaugh exposed himself to her during a party when the two were in college. The FBI conducted a supplementary background check into Ford's and Ramirez's allegations. Republican lawmakers said that the report did not turn up evidence of their claims. Kavanaugh denied all of the claims against him and was confirmed, 50-48, by the Senate following a bitter confirmation process. Republicans have argued that their base will be drawn to the ballot box out of frustration with how Kavanaugh was treated during his confirmation process. Democrats, meanwhile, have maintained that their supporters will turn out in part out of anger that the judge was confirmed despite the sexual misconduct allegations 